Squiddy Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's anime Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Captain Tsubasa 2018 episode 42 titled uh, Tsubasa the Phoenix. So where we're starting off this week's um, episode adaptation wise is going to be page 19 of uh, chapter 67's adaptation of the manga. So without further ado, let's get to it. Hawk looks horrible. Who who animated this over at David Productions? This looks just bad. Perfect spot for the opening song and also that final frame before the opening song of Subasa's um that close-up of Subasa's face is just beautiful. Oh my god! David Productions, you have matched this panel like so perfectly, and this is right after the opening song. I love the color palette, it is beautiful. I love that gold aura that Subasa has. Oh my god, oh my god, I dropped Promise Neverland for this. I did. I tried watching Promise Neverland episode three, I couldn't make it past the first couple of minutes. It was bad, but oh. Market anime adaptation. I needed this bad, fam. Hawk at the two minute 36 second mark looks so much better. Oh my god, it looks so much better than it did before the opening song. Whoever animated that fucking Hawk before the opening song needs to be fired. Oh my god, the dry shot looked perfect. Oh my god, it looked amazing. Ugh. Oh my god, thank god. Thank god. Oh, thank god for this anime. Thank God for this anime! Oh my God, I would hate life right now if it wasn't for this anime. Because <laughs> Promise Neverland made me really feel depressed. Oh, thank God for this anime. So at the 3 minute 48, 49 second mark, we start to get to the analogy of what Tsubasa's drive shot is, and it looks so beautiful! <laughs> oh my God, it looks so beautiful! I love this style of animation. It look the um the hawk looks gorgeous. Oh my god, it looks so beautiful. Oh my god. And you and you motherfuckers tell me Cloverwork stuff looks good. Hello? This is better than Promised Neverland animation, in my opinion. Finally, I've missed you, cinematic animation. Oh, I've missed you. I've really, really missed this. Even though we're not in flashback. Um, this is the, I, I love the style of the animation. It just looks so cool. That phoenix behind Subas at the 4 minute, like the 420 second mark. Oh my god, that was great. That sound effect was gorgeous. Oh my god, like this, the the shots in this episode have been, minus the first one at the very beginning of this episode, have been gorgeous. Oh my god, I've missed this David Productions. That's the pain! The pain! Oh, at the, and that's at the 5 minute 25 second mark. I can't wait for it either! I can't wait for the tiger shot! I can't wait to see it in play! Oh my god, the tiger shot? When we see that shit in play, go up against Tsubasa, that shit is going to be beautiful! Oh my god, I'm gonna cry from how beautiful it is, probably. I'm calling that now. That special bullet pass at like the 7 minute uh, 33 second mark look fabulous! Yay, we're getting slow-mo at the ball rebounds um, backwards from the goalpost. And oh, this is so nice. This is what I need more anime to have. I need more slow-mo. I need more like utilization of various techniques. This is what I need from Black Clover. Seriously, Studio Period. This, why is Data Productions um, doing what you need to be doing in a soccer anime when you could be having this greatness in Black Clover. It should be in Black Clover, especially for certain fights that are coming and the uh, Magic Knight uh, exams. I'm so excited for that, this arc. I'm, I so am. Yes, we got the bullet splash of blood! Yeah, we're going on set some motherfucker! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about, Damon Productions! Woohoo! Gino got hit in the face! That's right! Subasa's drive shot hit Gino in the fucking face, and we saw blood splitting everywhere, and it looked so cool. I'm so glad that one was there. God. <clears throat> okay, the uh, the the injury on Gino's eye, or over Gino's eye, looks a lot worse than it does in uh, the anime. I'm kind of disappointed. This is like right at the nine minute mark. I um, also like there's supposed to be blood dripping already dripped onto his shirt. On his jersey, I mean, it's supposed to be like a huge bloody mess up there. 
and it's not, and that's very disappointing, but that that's the censorship for you. Love and David Productions gives us the path, like, the ball trajectory. It looks so cool, and I love that it's blue, because that's what usually Subasa is. It's in, for his aura, for the most part, is blue. So look at Sato fly him in air! Like, the 10 minute 43 second mark. That frame is beautiful. I love the background, and I love the color of the dry shot. Oh my god, the contrast is just amazing. The shot right after the commercial break. I'm talking about the frame. It looks so beautiful. I love the style of animation we're getting. I love the color contrast. It is fantastic. And the spotlight is on Tsubasa. This is freaking gorgeous, David Productions. You just took the fucking drive shot with this body, yo. Oh man, the 11 minute 35 second mark when Jito's body is going flying. Oh, again, the contrast is just gorgeous. I love the background and it's different than Sano's, which is really, really nice. And, um, oh man, I love the color of the ball. It's like Super Saiyan yellow. It is great. Damn, that drive shot was strong. And how, you saw how it pushed Jito into the fucking goal. That was fucking awesome. Yes, we saw Sato's eyes at like the 13 minute, 27, 28 second mark. Yeah, Ishizaki finally did something at the 15 minute, uh, two second mark. The ball was taken from him in, like, the 15-minute, like, 16-second mark. Poor, poor Ishizaki. He's just getting the short end of the stick constantly. Oh, my God. The 16-minute, 6-second mark is just gorgeous. Oh, my God. Tsubasa versus Sano is beautiful. So I want to say in about the 16 minute, like 35 second mark, we go into chapter 68's adaptation of the manga, and I'm so ready for this. Let's go. 17 minute, 28 second mark. Oh, I love it. I love the close up. I love the color palette. It is gorgeous. At the 17 minute, 41 second mark, when Tsubasa is about to collapse, that animation, that Sakuga animation. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Tsubasa's thinking about teamwork. And it's like the 17, uh, you know what, um, Misaki, my boy Misaki, aka best boy Misaki, and Makabayashi are saying, at like the 17 minute, just before the 18 minute mark, that dark color palette is just so beautiful. I love it. And we had this last week too. It's just, oh God, this, this episode keeps getting better and better. Gino is such a good sport. You gotta give the man props. And like, cause he's taking this loss so well. It's, it's really nice to see that. I want to protect us so bad. Oh, the 25 minute, like 18, 17, 18 second mark when you have that close up of Sano's face. You just want to, we just want to protect him. <laughs> you do. At least I do. So basically where we ended was about the end of chapter 68. It's adaptation of the manga. I'm hoping we're going to get like the full adaptation of like near the end of chapter 68 at the beginning of next week's episode. But if we don't, we don't because we don't have that many episodes left. We still got like it about, um... At least 30 chapters to adapt, so it's going to be interesting to see what direction David Productions goes writing-wise. But this episode was amazing. I really, really enjoyed it. This is what a manga to anime adaptation should be. And shame on you, Cloverworks, for fucking up Promise Neverland. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, uh, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan Think. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep the channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Captain Tsubasa content, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something off the Amazon wishes all that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, find me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye!